Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shari Nicole, for those who are new. So, um, this video is kind of like a complaint, maybe even a little rant. Um, but it needs to be said because things are getting a little bit ridiculous. So, you're probably watching this video because you want to know more, informa more information about being a loan signing agent. Great. Kind of. All these videos out here uh, about being a notary, about being a signing agent, the, has made things a bit crazy and bad for the rest of us. Um, because a lot of y'all who are coming in here into this, you know, field of work, one, you don't really know your worth you don't know how to run a business you don't even treat this or see this as your business so that negative mindset right there or wrong mindset <laughs> has made or caused the money in this field to be crumbs and sorry just got an email um, because y'all are accepting assignments that are literally leaving you with pretty much no profit. It, it may look like you're getting something, but if you really add up the cost of your expenses, the cost of your mileage, the gasoline, um, paper, toner, because... <laughs> If you're actually getting work, your toner, I'm sure, depending on what you have, because I done seen some high-priced toners out here, and I'm so glad I chose a printer that I chose, because some of y'all paying $100 plus for some basic toner, and that's more than one time in a month. But you're not adding up your expenses, and you're just taking these assignments, I guess, with the idea of, let me just get some experience, or... Uh, it's money. That's the wrong mindset. The wrong mindset to have because it's a ripple effect. Like when you, it's about supply and demand. You really it's it's business. If something is normally, let's say if something's normally a hundred dollars, and all of a sudden you got new people coming in with a lack of knowledge and desperate. And they're just going to accept that you bait them with, uh, let's say you just throw out $60 for it when you know it's supposed to be $100 plus. And that person, that notary in this case, foolishly takes that $60. And you, okay, one person took the bait and they got it. They got $60 or something they, that, that they should have really got $100 plus one. So you're going to bait the next person and the next person and the next person. And unfortunately, it keep, you keep getting these newbies who don't know their worth and don't know how to run a business and don't know about expenses and profit and cost of goods and all of a sudden you done <laughs> you done settled on okay I'm about to that's all we doing now we're not we're no longer you know putting a hundred on this this is gonna be 60 from now on they can take it or leave it because somebody's gonna be out there taking it And it's ridiculous. It needs to stop. If your order is not being offered to you at $95, $100, $125, $150, $175, and more, even from signing companies, why are you accepting that? I don't care where, what city you live in. I don't care what state you're in. Why are you accepting anything less? Yes, in my previous videos, when I began, I was taking nothing less than $85 because at that time, $85 was something that I felt good about, you know, that I can, you know, take on and still make somewhat of a profit. But when I got introduced to other companies who were, you know, who knew my worth and who actually valued notaries, and I found out that everything that I was you know, taking $85 for, they're paying $125, they're paying $150, they're paying $175 for. Why the heck am I taking anything less? 
Plus, I actually feel like I'm actually, you know, getting a profit on my stuff because if you just want to look at things, if you want to take a loan signing, and let's just talk about my state, Texas, $6 per notary stamp is what we charge. Most of these loan closings have at least 12 to 18 stamps. The two that I did, I did one today for 18. The other one uh, yesterday, 18 stamps. 18 times six is way more than $85, way more than $95. It's 100 plus. So why would I take a signing that's less than my state fee, period? That doesn't make any sense. Aside from that, you gotta look at your round trip mileage, your gas, which is, I think it's 52 cents or 56 cents the IRS has set for mileage that you can get per mile. So most of my trips are coming out around 25 to 35 dollars round trip. And that's just counting me going from my house to their house and back to my house. I don't even add in the little two point something miles that I go from my house to FedEx or to UPS was to FedEx two point something miles. The UPS is probably like eight. Um, and back to my house. I don't even add in that. Some of them I do, but most of the times I don't. I just add in the, the major mileage of going to their house. Um, so that's thirty dollars. That let's just say that's thirty dollars right there. So if we're talking about a signing, you got offered something eighty five dollars for a refinance. Most refinances are 130 to like 190 pages times two because you have to print a copy. Most companies, it's only been one company I work for where they're like, you can ask the borrower if uh, they want a copy. I did that one time um, and you know, they said, no, why would I want some blank pages for? Exactly. But on the other side, um, people just don't be listening. They got a lot on their mind, and I ain't got time to be running back to your house because you done messed up something, okay? So I just give, just whatever, just take these copies, whatever. So that's $30, so it's $85 you got offered for this, for this refinance. Take $30 off of that for gas, your round trip. Now we down to $55 profit. Then you start adding in the daggone, um, the toner, the percentage off a of toner that you use on printing those papers, the paper that you use for that order, and boy, and that's about it for that. But you still, and then after you subtract all of that, you're probably down to like 30 bucks that you don't profit it. So for those of you who are taking these orders from, um, who is that? Notary Go. They love sending you $45, $60 orders for some refinance. In our case, if in this little case that I did, you profit about $10 or less. So why keep taking these low fees just because you want some experience? Just because you want to get in the door. Stop short selling yourself. Like, that's the wrong mindset to have. Like I said, yes, in the beginning I said all this stuff, but now that I'm in the business and I'm experiencing and I'm seeing the, the ripple effect of that mindset, um, that ideal, like that's wrong. And it affects all of us. Like in the beginning when people were saying that, like I don't leave my house for less than $100, I don't leave my house for less than 150. Um, by you accepting low fees, it affects all of us. Like I wasn't feeling that, I wasn't seeing that, I wasn't experiencing that. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. But now that I'm experiencing it, I'm like, they were right. It this field is one of the fields where if you got a whole bunch of people coming in, desperate people just taking anything, they're gonna catch on and be like, "Well, why am I paying you? Why do I pay you? Why I gotta pay you one twenty five? If uh, if fifty people over here gonna take sixty, gonna take seventy, gonna take eighty five? And there's this one person who I I love her stories because it was so encouraging and everything. But she's in like a northern state. She was she's one of the ones who's making 10k plus. She one month what was I think in January February she said she made like seventeen thousand dollars doing nothing but signing between direct and signing companies. 
one of the timing companies that kept her busy and that I haven't heard from since February was giving her was allowing her to make ten thousand dollars a month just from that one company which is a signing company she said since the influx of newbie notaries desperate notaries in her area she makes zero dollars from that company now i make zero dollars from that company now and i actually emailed them yesterday and they replied this morning because i uh and i titled the subject i said lack of loan signings let me pull it up right now so I ain't lying to y'all. So once again, I had titled it Lack of Signings. And I put in my message. This was yesterday, 426. Uh, what time was it? I don't remember what time it was. But it says, good evening. So it was an evening. I said, I've successfully, I've successfully completed signings with name of signing company and after my last one in February I have not received any notifications is this company company still in business I haven't changed my prices and I but I did change my mouse however I changed them to where you know I increase them which means I'm willing to go out further I'm not but I was just trying to play with the algorithm and see um, so they replied back, like I said, this morning at 9 o'clock, and they said, Hello. I believe that the reason that this is happening is the heavy recruitment of new notaries in your area. This has made you less competitive in terms of fees, which may make you less likely to receive signings. Thank you, signing company. So... In other words, like I've been saying, y'all in here accepting crumbs and their base fee, because that was their base fee. This particular company, they had like a base fee of like 60, 70, or 80 bucks. And then once you actually get the order, then they add on like 20, 25 more bucks. So basically, uh, a lot of stuff I did for them were either like $95 or like $115. And they were like easy, easy refinances, okay? And that company, like I said, was, that was their base fee. That was their fees. If you try to go in and like, and say like you want $150 or $175, then okay, you're not going to get it. Because somebody else is going to, you know, they're okay with $100. They're okay with $95. They're okay with okay with 125 but now none of that ain't even good because a lot of y'all newbies are coming in now and y'all accepting sixty dollars seventy dollars as a total not even a base as total you're not making profit stop your math ain't mathing cut it out you're messing it up for all of us how somebody go and go from ten thousand a month to zero from a signing company because new things coming in and they accept them crap. That's ridiculous. And when it start hurting your pockets, and you see later when the math ain't mathing, when it finally click in your head, then you gonna get right. You gonna get right. Cause it's coming. All of y'all who doing this, it's coming. All I gotta say is, if you're not treating this as a business, if you got a husband, if you got a wife, whatever you got, if you got your mama and your daddy helping you pay your bills, helping you live, if you got the government helping you live, like, fine, go, go do Uber, go do Uber Eats, go deliver my groceries, do ship, go deliver my lunch, DoorDash. If you want a quick $40, a quick $20, and most of the platforms let you cash out after you do your little whatever you're doing in that day, Go do that. This is not where you do that at. Why are you gonna accept $40 and you're not gonna get it until 30 days later? Clearly y'all don't have real bills to pay. Clearly y'all got assistance. But the rest of us, this is our income. And y'all playing games with it. Now, now you're playing with our money. And I got a problem with it. I got a problem with you. Stop playing with our money. 
go play with Louise. Thank you for watching. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next videos. Uh, and that's it for now. Peace.